Hi, welcome back to another video. Uh, thanks to those few of you who caught my live stream yesterday. If you haven't watched it, um, I live streamed an attempt at the match tournament. Uh, it was ultimately successful, um, despite the fact I played terribly, to be honest, with one loss along the way. I actually managed to play a bit better in the final um, and then noticed afterwards that the live stream had cut off after the first hole, which was great. Um, but I did actually win it, uh, just to prove I'm not lying. Um, I think it's still available. Yeah, so I won the final there, Korea 2C, 2C. Um, I think I've worked out why it cut off. Um, it was a bit of a, a test bed, to be honest. That's for an upcoming event, um, which we've got tomorrow night. Um, it was uh, essentially a, a, a test stream I was doing. Um, so tomorrow night, 8 p.m. UK time, 3 o'clock EST and 12 p.m. PDT. Um, you should see it as an upcoming event on my channel it's uh, a live stream of a fun Waikiki tournament within the guild the Brit drivers um, should be a fun one I'm trying to stream two games at once which I've had a couple of goes at um, and I'm also going to be trying to play um, so if you watched us yesterday struggling with one stream and playing in the match tournament you'll know it should be interesting um, so we should have some fun moments on the way at least I won't have the shot clock to um, to consider which nearly tripped me up a couple of times in fact did trip me up a couple of times yesterday um, so yeah, love to have you along again. 8 p.m. UK time, 3 o'clock EST, 12 o'clock PDT. Um, but anyway, on to this video. So as the title will tell you, is there such a thing as too many stats? Is the question. Um, short answer I can give you right away is sometimes. Um, it's it's a bit of a strange one because as a low stat player, you're constantly grafting to get more more and more stats to start trying to reach these. Um, you know, long holes on the par threes, par fours, and even up to um, sorry on the the sixth tee. Um, so um, why would you not want all those stats? I mean, interestingly enough, enough you'll see um, I've actually got from those recent outfits that re-released a few. Um, and you'll notice my stars have gone way down because I picked up all I had four outfits that I hadn't previously had, which has given me an extra sixty-eight stats, but I haven't actually applied them. Um, reason being, uh, I mean, there's a couple of holes on a couple of courses where that might be useful, but not hugely. Um, and that little jump in stats is again a case of having to relearn. You know, the flight of the ball is going to change a little bit, not hugely, but just a small amount. Um, and I don't want to get kind of tripped up by that, so I'll, I'll save those and um, potentially keep them for rebalancing stats if I do another transcendence and uh, my stats change a little bit. Um, so. Obviously, the stats aren't that desirable, otherwise I would have applied them straight away. Obviously, difference being I've got 4,200 odd stats. Um, if you've got 2,000 stats, you'll probably be applying them straight away. But but there are occasions where too many stats can be a real problem. Um, and hopefully I'll demonstrate. So what I'm going to do is pause, pause the video. I'm going to set up a couple of um, scenarios so you can see what I mean. Okay, so on the T here is... Um, which is an account I use normally for streaming, golfstar.tv. Um, it's got 10 stats or something, or maybe maybe 20 minimal stats. Um, so it's going to be an extreme example, this, but extreme example is the best way to demonstrate, I think. Um, so all I'm going to do here is just chop that off a little bit and just play a standard, what is a nine iron, into this pin, which is towards the front left of the green. This is the first par three at Sequoia, out from the first tee. So a fairly regulation shot, and that should roll on nicely and pretty much nearly a hole in one. You would say quite an easy shot. Um, so to switch to my main account, so this is the guy with four thousand or the gal, four thousand two hundred and twenty odd stats, whatever it is. Um, I'm going to basically line it up exactly the same and play exactly the same shot. You'll notice the club's different. I'm playing with a sand wedge. Um, look at the loft difference. So that's supposedly a more lofted club, and look where it's ended up. Um, so on this occasion, having um, an advantage of 4,000 stats on my opponent is not an advantage um, on this type of hole. And there are other, other examples as well. Um, I'll just set up another one again just to illustrate one moment there. Okay, so here we are at Kyoto. This is from the third tee, and it's the first par three again. Um, the pin is the only slightly tricky one, really, at Kyoto. It's probably the easiest course. Um, but um, the important to note, I think the note again, is the, the flight of the ball. So what I'm going to do is just play a standard 
eight iron now you'll notice the loft it's never in danger going anywhere near that tree and it's rolled on nicely for um i wouldn't say it's dead but a fairly comfortable put for birdie so let's switch now to my main player so again my high slap player on the tee exactly the same shot exactly the same wind so i'll do exactly the same lineup and have a look at the results you can already guess what's going to happen based on the last video but again just to demonstrate the difference in loft so whereas an eight iron wasn't even a high shot just a standard eight iron flew up and over that tree um you'll see a sand wedge which again you'd expect to be a much more lofted club because i'm underpowering it that's the result uh, so obviously not a great position to be in so hopefully that illustrates what i'm talking about um essentially um to answer the question is too too many stats a bad thing or can too many stats be a bad thing um the answer is definitely sometimes possibly occasionally might be a better answer um but i mean the bottom line is everyone's chasing stats um most of the time more stats it's going to mean better results but on certain courses on certain holes the opposite can be true um, so you can use that to your advantage so for example uh, the guild battle is is where that can really be um, used tactically so for example if you play sequoia in from the first tee where there's lots of trees around lots of really short holes um, where shots such as we've seen there can can kind of really have high stat players tearing the hair out a bit if you can put in a good round consistently at sequoia in it's a great one to learn there are other courses as well um, anything with really short par threes is always good because underpowered sand wedges are really hard to control. Um, so if you can put in, you know, 13, 14 under, 15 under at Sequoia in, you'll find that if you set that as a prep round in the guild battle, you'll be doing well. You'll be getting good scores and good results. Um, so yeah, hopefully something will help you out in future and also prepare you for what's going to happen. So if you get a big jump up in stats, um, don't just fly straight onto the course and think, yep, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take everyone to pieces now. I've got the power um, because you also need to learn the, the nuances, if you like, the different shots you're going to have to play and the way your, your ball is going to be flighted differently. So I hope that's helped. Uh, so again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all tomorrow night. So that's Sunday the 10th, 8 p.m. UK time. Um, if you don't get a chance to watch it, it'll be recorded anyway for, for watching back afterwards. But I'd love to see a few years along um there'll be a live chat on hopefully should be a bit of fun uh, thanks for watching